Hi guys, I'm going to show you the uh, the importance of augment and the sequence. I'm going to create a calculate security health part two with the help of augment and sequences. I've already created a part one in which I have show you how to use the sequence, how to invoke the examples, different different examples, and how to bind the uh, the augment. Uh, the part two has been left and it's been a long time that I have created any video for the YouTube. And today I'm going to complete the part two. Uh, uh, most of the, uh, like, uh, I'm getting a lot of messages. A complete part two and uh, uh, yeah, definitely I left uh, some uh, the most important part that is the extraction of client ID, client uh, country and the client name. So that part I'm going to cover in this video. So we are going with a very cute uh, look. Okay, how we have done the pre uh, we have done the in the previous video. I'm going to summarize in a single flow. And if you want to know the arguments and the sequence, you can refer the previous video in this description. So first. We are going to open the acmetest.uipath.com, then enter our password and the email. I'm not going to use the orchestrator and the assets uh, because this is a, a simple flow and uh, the the use of arguments. I'm not going to use the RE framework as it preferred to complete your advanced certification. You have to design calculate security has with the help of RE framework. And it's recommended. Don't use this method. This method is only to explain some basic concepts. So if you are going to submit your project into the UiPath Advanced Certificate for the UiPath Advanced Certification, then use and you the you the there is the same concept. You just need to put the right sequence into right place in the RE framework, it will work. Then after login, we have to click in the work item. After clicking the work item, we need to extract all the WI5 IDs as mentioned in the uh, document. After extracting all the all the data of work item, we need to filter the WI5 IDs type and the status. Type is WI5 and the status is open. There is no need, no use of the completed uh, work items to so we just need the open work item to make it complete with some uh, definite flows. Yeah, the right range with the workbook. It I am using this to just confirm if we are getting a, a filter data or not. After getting the filter data, we use Excel uh, scope to read the data as a column column wise because we need B1 column that is our WIID because with the help of WIID. We are going to navigate the uh, the details of these IDs. So here I'm using a for each, and and the uh, type argument is object. No need to change; it will work. Then to navigate the correct work item, just use the uh, ACME test work item slash current item dot to string because we are having WI IDs as a current item. Then after navigating to current item, we will get this information. So the, the major task of this project, how to manipulate this string, how to get our required client ID, client name and client country. We are using three things. We are using a sort for a very short VB code for the client ID. We have client information dot service string. Then you can easily uh, check on the forum or YouTube how to use this service string. Uh, it need uh, a start and the end point. For the start point, we are taking the client ID index, and the, for the end point, we are getting the we are taking the length of the client ID. After getting this, we will split rest of the two lines. That is our uh, client name and client country. I'll show you. I'll I'll see you later. Then client for the same thing for the client name. And the same thing for the client country. After getting all three things, we need to add with dash. 
to generate the hash code. To get the hash code, we need to open the hash sovereign website and then put into the hash, put all data and generate, click on the hash and you will get a hash code. Then copy that this hash code uh, to update your work item. To, to update a work item, you need to click on the update work item button. Then a, a small window will open. Then you need to paste your uh, that hash code in that uh, add comment section, change the status as a completed. Then uh, click on the update work item and close your tag. That's that's uh, your uh, use case that is given in the uh, your advanced UI path a course. So that's a simple task then. I have opened a, a, a sample of client information detail to show you how a service string will work. We have a three lines, client ID, client name, and client country. Check this. We have extra ID. I have copied all three activities here to get text. Then, uh, then a right line to print the all information, then client ID. I'm going to disable it to check one by one check all details one by one okay we know it too okay then run this and check what we are getting as a client information that is output of get text activity okay We are getting three lines client ID, client name, and client country. Our first task is to extract PO26319 as a client ID. For this, no, forget. For this, I'm using a, a sort code that is your uh, the output of the get text, then substring of client information, then index of, and then last is to split the details so first just enable and run what we are getting as what is the index of and then what is the substring so just first i am running to check what is the index how the index of is working We have an index of 29. Yeah, we are getting our first value. And then to check how we place this in the substring, control E to enable. Yeah, client information. We are placing index of in the substring, the index of client ID plus length of client ID. So what we will get after putting index of and the length of this. So we can check after running this. Okay, now we are getting our desired result. So is uh, uh, this is the client information, and in the client information, we are extracting the client ID that is our PO two six three one nine. But we are also getting the client name and the client country. So here we need to use a split with the new line, so, so that we can uh, you can uh, separate our Client ID with the next two lines. To check this, okay, I have I need to enable this code. Yeah, this is the complete code. After the length, we need to use the split environment new line to array zero because it will split our uh, get text output into two parts. First part is indexed as a zero, and second part is indexed as a one. We need only first part as a client ID. I'm going to run it. Okay. We are getting PO26319. So we uh, we have successfully uh, extract our P client ID. Then uh, that that's the first one. Then copy 
and change the values for the second and third one that is our our client name it has just we need to change few of the variables and it will work like just index of client name then length of client name and rest of all are same we just need to change the heading and it will generate the client name change the variable to check the client name This is our client name, Norman Bentley. Yeah, this is our client information from where we are extracting the client name, and same as the client country. It's a it's a very brief description how we are how we are extracting our uh, client name, client uh, name ID, and the country. Yeah, this is our code. To check whether it's running correctly or not, we need to run it. Okay, I forget to log out. That's a major drawback when we are doing this project with the help of sequence and the argument. It will not going to retry uh, automatically as it's happened in the RE framework because it RE framework has a the exception handling a better exception handling capacity. And in this in this example, I'm not using any exception handling. Uh, mechanism. It's better if you have any, if you have a basic knowledge of this workflow, then you have you can go with the RE framework. Okay, we are extracting the data one by one. I think we're going to face any error. Let's see what what the error. Okay. Column name is not. We are extracting our uh, WIDs one by one with the type and the status. Few of the status are completed and few are left open. We are filtering the completed and open as a open. And then process this all the open status. Now we next step is to navigate the open wi5 ids okay, so in the debug mode that's why it's taking a few more seconds Yeah. 
here is, is our first data that has the open status. Now we are opening the sovereign file to get this as code. After getting update work item and paste it into the as command and then new status. Completed and then update. Yeah, our code is running fine. Only with the help of sequence and the arguments. But try to design the, the concept is same. The sequence is same. You need to put uh, the right sequence in the right place in the RE framework. It will work fine. And we will do our next project next. Uh, the use case two that is generate yearly report in the RE framework that is with the help of performer and dispatcher we will do next okay i'm going to close this no need to run all our calculate security has has been completed in a very simplest way only with the use of argument and the uh, sequence so how to divide our project into different different XML and how to connect it. You need to see the calculate security has part one. And I, I just summarized the part two there. That's why it, it doesn't have a much data and the much uh, activities and the examples. The major part, the major thing. To fetch client ID, client name and the client country. And I try to explain in a simplest way. Hopefully you all have understand how to do this. And if you need any help, you can mail me from you can take my ID from the YouTube itself or uh, in the description in the description section or you can drop a comment. I'll definitely reply. And I, I'm not going to take that much time to create another video. For on the UI path or some uh, different, or some new technology, some new RPA tools. Yeah, last one is take a too much time just because of the COVID and the other things. Yeah, okay, buddy. Bye bye.